Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining Research Land. This is uh, Dr. Mumtaz. Today, I'm going to discuss about uh, one of the most important issues. It is about mediation analysis. Uh, this discussion is based on one of our editorials, which we have published in Journal of Applied Structural Equation Modeling in January 2018. And uh, this is the author panel, and I would like to thank all of them. Uh, Professor T. Ramaya, Dr. Haram Ting, Dr. Jackie Chia, and Dr. Francis for their valuable contribution. This uh, editorial you can download either from uh, Journal's website, jasongeneral.com, or you can download from our research gate profiles. Myself or any of my co-authors, you can just visit and uh, download. It's an open access paper. Uh, I would like to mention that this paper has been downloaded more than 13,000 times from authors all over the world and it has been cited. Several citations we have received and a lot of uh, acknowledgements. We have received emails through Facebook and other mediums mentioning that this paper is a lifesaver because uh, students, they need a reference. So, we what we have done we have compiled all the queries which we have received from several years in a in a document and that is what we are going to discuss today so uh, now others students they have the something to support their ideas in this editorial we have discussed six key questions uh, in first question, we discuss about the what you have to do before even conceptualizing mediation analysis and running a mediation analysis. And then uh, we also discuss about how many hypotheses actually you need. And then uh, we also discuss about whether you can use Baron and Kenny approach. I you reconsider Baron and Kenny approach. And then we also discuss about uh, you need to. Uh, Test the relationship between independent and independent, X and Y, are you shouldn't. Also, we discuss about uh, full and partial mediation, which is another uh, debate in the mediation literature. And last but not the least, we also discuss how you can confirm that whether there's an indirect a mediation effect. So these key questions, although it's not possible that all these six questions I can discuss in one video, so what we, I have done is I have discussed three questions in this video and the next video will be explaining the remaining three questions. So before discussing these three questions, so let me uh, show you the paper. So let's have a quick drive and then we'll come back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the paper I was talking about. This paper has been published in Journal of Applied Structural Equation Modeling. Uh, with the title of Mediation Analysis, Issues and Recommendation. Uh, in this paper, we have first highlighted the importance, uh, what mediation uh, means, and then we also discuss, uh, based on the evidence from literature, that the top journals, uh, they believe that uh, the mediation modeling is uh, one of the key factor in management, business and management research. So either it's a general of applied psychology, or it's a academy of management general, or it's administrative quarterly, as a general of consumer behavior, you can find there are a lot of papers on mediation analysis. So that is basically uh, pushes us to come up to focus on this uh, uh, issue uh, in this editorial. However, the literature also suggesting that there are several issues when people are conceptualizing, when people are, when researchers are hypothesizing the mediation analysis, there can be observed several deficiencies. So in order to respond these deficiencies and also to respond to the questions we have received from the research community all around the world, this editorial can be used as a guideline to overcome these deficiencies. We believe this and we hope that uh, this uh, easy to understand, easy to follow guidelines will help the researchers, especially the students in order to con conducting mediation analysis in a proper manner. 
uh, we come up with an issue, for example, preparation for mediation analysis, and then we converted this issue in a question. What should I do prior to running a mediation analysis? And then we have responded. After each response, we also provided uh, recommended several readings. So if you believe that this discussion is not enough, then you can please uh, uh, go through this, these papers. These papers will enhance your understanding uh, about mediation analysis. Same goes to next question. And each and every question uh, is discussed in detail with the appropriate citations from the literature. Uh, some of the citations are very recent. And then we provided you at the uh, uh, at the end, we provided you some of the recommendation so you can follow. So uh, guys, uh, let's go back to our uh, presentation so I can explain you each and every question in detail. So the first question is about uh, what should I do prior to running a mediation analysis? Uh, sometimes uh, we have observed that the students used to put a box in between independent and dependent variable and they claim that uh, we have a mediator in our model. Uh, that, that is not sufficient. Uh, need to understand few key questions and everybody, every student, we, we suggest that kindly uh, try to find the answer of these questions. For example, why a mediator actually needed? That is a million dollar question because examiner is going to ask you why mediator and why this is variable should be considered as a mediator. If you don't know, if you are not very clear, if you're just saying that for the sake of the uh, including mediator in a model to make a model complex, that is, is not the proper way. Sometimes when we ask uh, the students and the researchers why uh, you need a mediator, then the, the very simple answer, my supervisor asked me to include a mediator. Are my university uh, prefer to have models with mediator and moderators? It means they are looking for complex modeling rather than theoretical advancement. So our suggestion is to please focus on uh, the justification. What we preach and what we believe is research is nothing but justification. So if you don't have a justification, uh, it is quite difficult and it is quite uh, challenging to publish and to convince your examiners. Find previous literature because mediation have a, a different relationship from independent to mediator to mediator to dependent and then in direct effect, you need to find the previous literature studies that uh, focusing on some parts of your mediating model. And then there must be a theory, a theoretical justification. At least somehow manage to find uh, something which can explain the overall uh, theoretical relationship of a mediator with independent and dependent variable. Then it makes sense. And the last but not the least is the explicit hypothesis. Try to mention that how it convert, the, how the role of mediator is connecting the independent and dependent variable. It must be uh, explicitly mentioned in your hypothesis. So the next, the second question is about Barron and Kenny's approach. And we received several queries uh, on this issue that whether we can use mediation analysis using Barron and Kenny's approach. We simply recommend authors to follow the recent developments in quantitative methods. And uh, you no need to worry about uh, other things because if you, have in mind the recent literature, then you no need to ask anybody because the recent literature is starting from has in preacher 2004 and then has 2009, then he has 2013 and later August 2016. And there are several others out there like Raghustan Atham uh, 2014. If you go through these papers, I'm sure that you will be very clear about whether you use Baron and Kenny approach or you should not. Because Baron, these authors have explicitly mentioned that the Baron Kenny approach has several limitations because it has low statistical power. It does not uh, directly test the significant of a specific indirect effect. And there are so many other limitations, deficiencies this approach has. So now choice is yours. Uh, 
one more question related to this approach we receive from the scholars from students the doctor whether uh, because I have seen a paper recently in a good journal and it uses uh, Baron and Kenny approach. So it means we still can use Baron and Kenny approach. Uh, we usually, uh, very simply, humbly, we suggest that uh, two wrong do not make one right. So if you know that uh, what are the limitations, if you know that what are the deficiencies of, uh, of any specific uh, approach then please do not consider look for the other better approaches because at the end being a student you will be asked from your examiner and uh, being an author you will be asked from your reviewers so you need to be very clear by no means we are suggesting that you should not read baron and kenny baron and kenny 1986 paper we strongly believe that this is the foundation of the mediation analysis and it's a classical paper everybody must read and it must be cited uh, and it must be considered as a theoretical discussion uh, while conceptualizing your mediation models while discussing about mediation analysis but uh, the steps the way they provided the uh, the recommendations mm -hmm. how you do mediation analysis you may consider other better approaches rather than focusing on mediation analysis uh, there are several editors they also suggest for example from journal of operation management uh, the editors uh, in their editorials which was published in 2015 they said if you are in 1980s if you are using baron and kenny approach then it's fine but if you are in 2015 then as uh, you need to be very careful and same arg argument from uh, the paper I have recently mentioned about uh, the mediation analysis, which everybody must read, theorizing, testing, and concluding for mediation. It's, uh, uh, it's published in Journal of Operation Management. It's saying the using Baron and Kenny's approach might produce misleading results. And also, because of these limitations, it can damage the future theory building. So our strong recommendations for the authors uh, we uh, have mentioned so many uh, references, citations for your reading. If you do believe that this is not sufficient, please go through these papers. It will provide you a clear understanding whether you use Bannon and Kenny approach or you should not use. You need to be informed. The basic idea of writing this, these editorial, this kind of uh, informative videos is to uh, give you the information. So decision is yours. The third question and very interesting question is how many hypotheses should I develop for a mediation effect? We would suggest you one of the paper published in Journal of Operation Management. Um, this is a fantastic paper. This clarifies this question and so many other queries related to mediation analysis. So there are two specific approaches they have mentioned. One is the segmentation approach and the second one is transmittal approach. So when you are theorizing, when you are conceptualizing the, uh, the mediating model, if you are considering segmentation approach, then you need three hypotheses from independent to mediator and from mediator to dependent variable. And one hypothesis you need to develop uh, for the indirect effect, how uh, independent effect on the dependent variable via through this mediator all right however if you are following transmittal approach uh, then your focus is on only specifically on the indirect effect then you no need three hypotheses you need it four hypotheses but you need only single hypothesis hypothesis and that hypothesis conceptualize theorize the indirect effect that how um, independent variable effect, dependent variable uh, with the mechanism of uh, mediating variable. You don't need uh, more hypothesis. So choice is yours, whether you, what's your focus? You have to ask this question yourself and people around you, your co-authors, your supervisors, uh, whether I should consider segmentation approach or I should focus on transmittal approach. So then you can decide how many hypotheses you need. If you need uh, the studies that use this approach or this approach, any of these approaches, uh, I think better you go through this paper or the editorial 
we have provided references uh, for those studies who have used these uh, approaches in their papers while uh, conceptualizing or testing the mediation analysis. So it can be a good example uh, for you. You can use these uh, previous studies as sample when you are uh, using mediation analysis. Ladies and gentlemen, we have discussed uh, three key questions uh, during this discussion. And in the next video, I will be covering the remaining three questions. And these uh, questions is, uh, are related to testing the direct relationship between independent and dependent variable during mediation analysis, the issue of uh, uh, partial and full mediation, and how to confirm whether there is a mediation or there is no mediation. With that, thank you so much uh, for uh, watching this video. And uh, I'll conclude this presentation with this quotation that progress is impossible without change. And those who cannot change, their minds cannot change anything. Thank you and uh, looking forward uh, to have your comments and suggestions. Feel free to inbox or please comment in our channel. Thank you so much.